I think I'm kind of confused. Don't you see about this thing they call central tendency? Apparently it's used to summarize lots of data without it. All that's collected is just blah, blah, blah. What does it mean? I've got to go find out somehow. How? How can it be? I guess I'll go check my book now. I opened it and here's what I see. Lots of mumbo jumbo staring at me. All oh, this mumbo jumbo's really scary. But I really need to start and study. Oh, what? What does it mean? I've got to go find out somehow. Oh, how? How can it be? I guess I should start reading now. It says here that something is me. Or is it a someone they're referring to? Oh wait, it's the name of a term. I need to go find more clues. So the mean is like the average. We add up all the values we got. Then we divide by how many there are. That's it, I'm surprised I forgot. Oh, I think I get what it means. Let's see what else is there. Now that that part is done, what else do I have to prepare? So the median is a bit more work. Line the numbers up in order. From least to greatest, the greatest to least. You feel like it, you can't even draw a border. Go find the middle number. That's what I have to do. If there's no middle number, find the mean of the middle too. Oh, I think I get what it means. Let's see what else is there. Now that that part is done. What else do I have to prepare? There is one more type out there And it is called the mold It is very easy to find Look at all the numbers showed The number that shows up the most That number is the one Sometimes you might get more But sometimes you might have none So these are the central tendencies Mean and average are just the same Median's the middle one The one that shows up most The mode is the name Oh, now I get what it means Finally it all makes sense Central tendencies aren't that hard I guess I'm not really that dense Oh, now I get what it means I'm gonna do my best Median and mode Boy, I'm gonna